This video will take you through some of the basic functions of the Canon RCIP100 controller, which can control up to 100 remote Canon cameras. If you've just purchased or received the Canon RCIP100 controller, and you're connecting a Canon CRN500 PTZ camera, a CRN300 PTZ camera, a Cinema EOS C300 Mark III camera, or a Cinema EOS C500 Mark II camera, we've got a few videos to help you set up any or all of those cameras here or here. Now, a quick lap around the controller itself. On the back is the power switch, next to a DC 12 volt input, next to the LAN terminal, and a USB port for servicing only. A tally terminal and dip switch for tally and service, and a serial port which can control select cameras, such as the CRX500 PTZ camera. On the control surface are four customizable dials, F1 and F2, F3 on the control lever, and F4. User 1 and User 2 are customizable buttons above the zoom rocker. In the center is the touch control panel. On the top left of the panel is the function group. When each is selected, a pre-configured function is assigned to each button or knob. Below is the function currently assigned to each button or knob. Bottom left will access the controller and network settings. To the right, you can toggle camera groups and toggle cameras. And on the bottom right is the all important enter button, locking in any settings you change. On the top center to right are operation and selection keys. Check that the PT active key is highlighted to control the pan tilt operation from the control lever. To select a camera to operate or shade, on the home screen, toggle left or right or press the numbered camera button of the camera you want. The zoom rocker will adjust the field of view. To assign a function or control to a knob or button, select F1, F2, F3, or F4, or user 1 or user 2. Once it's highlighted, available assignable functions appear to the right. If one of the arrows below are highlighted, more options are available. Select the desired option for each knob or button, and you've customized control for the selected camera, and press Enter. The controller can also record camera movement for use later in a production. This traces common camera movements for continuity. Start by selecting the desired camera. Set to position 1 and press Store. Then trace and select a number. Start tracing by pressing the Start Record and perform the move. Press Stop Record to memorize it. To play it back, select the camera, press View, then Trace. Press Prepare Trace and the camera will go back to position 1. Press Execute Trace for the recorded move. For more information, visit Canon USA's product page here where you can view specs, get updated firmware, and download manuals for the RCIP100 controller.